All right, well, I was gone all last week on that trip with the youth group, and so uh, I wasn't doing very many other puzzles besides kind of the daily ones. So the, the ones that I do daily, I know all these puzzles, most of these puzzles are daily, but the ones that I do daily. <laughs> um, so I, I thought I'd jump in and do a Dortal Cordal and Octortal today. Um, get back into the swing of guessing game, guessing words, not guessing games. They're games of guessing words. I can't talk today for some reason. I think I'm still... I'm still recovering from the lack of sleep, uh, even though it's been a couple days now. <laughs> when you're old, it takes a while. Uh, all right, so let's go with the media and cough. Why not? Media, cough. Okay, very good. And then a so. Um, oh, uh, interesting. So over here, it's probably a like that. And on the left, I mean, C A is pretty good, unless it's like C L. Oh, we could do clash. Clash isn't bad though. And that does check the L and the S. I like that. Um, I'm gonna go for that. Ooh, it's not Clash. Okay. Oh, but the A. <laughs> that's funny because I was thinking. <laughs> that's funny because I was thinking the A was probably second on the right and might have been third on the left, and it's now probably the other way around. So it's probably C A on the left. It's not S H. Uh, maybe T H? Or, or, oh, 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 yeah, we could do catch with another C. Yeah, catch is, catch is good, catch is good. On this one, it's something AI, um, something like plaid, but there, oops, but there's no L or D. What, what's at the end? AI, T maybe? Or R? It's pretty good, can't be flare. Um, the other problem is, if it's just the A and the I for vowels, then you need a double consonant at the beginning. Ah, train. Train is good. Oh man, if it's if it's train, I could have done train and cough. Um, I'm thinking about guessing train actually, but it, there's other things it could be. I think so. I'm not. I'm not quite. Like it could be brain, for example. So, so now, now I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe catch, which would let us check for the T. Because there's only so many things that could be before the H, right? It's gonna be like a t something H together. Can't be SH. It could be TH or CH. So let's check both of those. I think I think I like that. Let's go with catch. Okay, it was catch. And it is a T, so I think I'm gonna go with train. It's not train. Okay. So now I'm thinking T at the end because, because T second makes me think it, it needs to start with an S. And there's no S. But then we need a double consonant at the beginning. And with the letters we have left, we don't really have... Oh! Oh, what about a wait? With another A. That's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go with that. Catch and a wait. Okay. Alright, on to the chordal. We've got catch and a wait. And... We're doing some repeat letters, so hopefully that will be good. Well, there is an A in three of the words, so that was that was okay. Um, no C, no T, unfortunately, since we were checking two spots for those. Oh, uh, we've got an I up here. So we haven't done E, O, or U. The only vowels we've done are A and I. So we could do something like louse, which is pretty good. It checks all three of those vowels in the L and the S, which are good letters. Um because, I mean, we only have the A here, which is at the beginning, so there's for sure going to be another vowel, and it can't be another A, because we've checked the double A. This one is almost probably going to have another vowel, because otherwise it's got to have a triple consonant. We've already ruled out the T, C, and H. Uh, this one probably doesn't. It has two vowels already, but this one we don't have any vowels, so I think it's good to check all three vowels. Yeah, let's go with Laos. Okay. Okay, that was good. So... We've now got four of the five letters in this one, unless there's a double. So we've got A, I mean, it could be A-I, but then it makes me think I'll and there's no S. So I'm thinking Agile, maybe, or uh, A-L-I something. I'm thinking the I in the middle. I like Agile, that's pretty good. And we do have a yellow L in two of the words. Oh wow, there's an L in every word. Wow, I didn't even notice that. 
Um, so, Agile is what I'm thinking up there. Uh, I definitely want to do the L in a new spot for these three words. Now, there is an, a yellow E here. And there's two yellow S's. There's also a yellow U up here, but two yellow S's. So, S, at the, so something LS might be good. Because the S could be at the end on both of these. And... L could be fourth on all three of these, potentially. I'd like to get an E in a new spot. Maybe ELS? What could we do like that? Um, the U is good to try, too. What about fuels? That would be good. The U in a new spot? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Um, well, it's not agile. The E is not there. The L is not there. We did find the U, so it's... This. Lupus? It's possible. What else? I mean, the problem here is... You know, we don't have another vowel. I mean, unless it's another U, right? But if we don't have another vowel, you need the triple consonant there. And yeah, it's possible, though. Like something like lumps. Because uh, does Cordial, uh, I can't remember. Some of them use, you know, expanded word lists where you can have plurals, so. Lumps is possible there. This one, I still like, I still like the A third, but it would have to be A-L-I. Oh, alive. Alive is good. I don't think a line spelled like that. Oh, it is a word, okay. A-line, it's probably A-line, yeah. Like, a, like an A-line um, dress, I think. Because align, like you align things with each other, is G-N. So I like alive and align there. Uh, down here, the L is... Ah, oh, could be at the end. We could have something, uh, E-L potentially. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be A-E. So I think the E is fourth. And then this one here, got the A and the L, the S, I mean, it could be, uh, it could be A-S-L, but I don't like that as well. I'm thinking S at the beginning. Um, we could do something like Sally with a double L, or Sadly. So we've got a lot of possibilities. I, I really think it's going to be Lupus at the top, though. No, I said it could be something with a plural, like Lumps, didn't I? Yeah. Well, we could do spied. Now what that does for us is it checks for the S at the beginning here, where it's just where I was thinking it probably is. Although, if I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the beginning, then maybe I don't need to check for it. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking P because I had thought lupus or lumps or something, although the M would be more helpful than the P, I suppose, if it's going to be one of those. Um, and then... New spot for the I, new spot for the E down here. D is a letter we haven't done yet. Um, nope, nope, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do giver because it's still checking, we're still gonna locate the I up here. Whether we check for second or third, we're gonna locate it because if we get a yellow, then it's third, you know. Um, and I was thinking alive as a possibility up here, so the V would be good. It's still a new spot for the E down here. And the G and the R and the V are all letters that we haven't checked yet. Or maybe, di oh, do I want to do giver or diver? Because G and D are both letters we haven't checked yet. Yeah, diver, because I was thinking sadly was a possibility. So let's check the D. Okay, diver. Okay, well, it's not sadly. It is alive. Because it's alive. Um, <laughs> the I is definitely third. There's a, the L is definitely, yeah, it's, it's, it's given at this point, alive, okay. Very good, this, I'm still thinking lupus here. But it can still be lumps, oh, shoot. Alive, di diver didn't help with lumps versus lupus, all right. This one has a D, um, we found the E. There's an L, either third or last, so if the L is third, do abled. Oop. Abled would work. I think it's abled if the L is third and the D is at the end. If it was A D L, is that? 
Addled? Yeah, that's a thing. No, uh, how do you spell that? Addled. Is it a double D? It might be double D. Like this with the... Yeah, because Addle. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, so... So A-D-L-E, I don't think is gonna be a thing. So then the other option is the L is at the end. Something like this. I don't... I think it's gotta be abled, doesn't it? I think so. I'm gonna go with abled. Okay, good. It was abled. Um, this one... Okay, okay, which was good because we checked for the L. So now we've got S-A-L-L. -L. It has to be that. It, it almost has to be Sally. I mean, what else could it possibly be? It's hiding behind me there, but it's it's gonna be Sally. Okay, it's Sally. Now it's just Lumps versus Lupus. Uh, well, hmm. Or Lungs. Lungs also works. Oh, shoot. Too many possibilities. Well, I feel like all three are certainly possible. Um... I gotta go with my first instinct. Lupus. If nothing else, thinking ahead, I'm gonna use the answers on the Octortal. And the double, you know, the two U's could be helpful to check, I guess, maybe, just to, to know. I don't know. Probably not. There's probably not two U's in any of the words. Well, plus it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna start with the correct answers, not what I guessed, so. <laughs> Alright, let's just go with my first instinct. Even though it's probably not the better guess out of those, but they're all, I mean, at this point, any of them is equally likely, so. Oh, it's lupus! Wow! Awesome, okay. Well, I'm glad I thought of that first. Okay, <laughs> on to the Octordal. All right, lupus, alive, Sally, and abled. All right, well, we checked to see if any of them had two U's and none of the, oh, only one of them even has any U's. Awesome. Okay. Um, probably IPU over there, maybe? Or... Oh, no, something like input would be good. Input's really good there, actually. I'm, he I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to just go for that, but... And this might be a double S, like, gassy or something. Um... What about this one? This looks like we've got a lot. A, uh, this has to be ample, right? Or apple. Oh, oh, I was about to guess ample. It could be apple with a double P. That's a tricky one. Okay, and then this, it's not EY, which is interesting. SA, maybe? SA is pretty good there. There's probably something else it could be, though. I feel like there's something else that could be. I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to go with SA, but... Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so... Man, I don't have much to go on here. I need to do uh, my only test word. I mean, the only vowel we haven't checked for yet is O. Man, I could almost do cough, but we'd be repeating the U, which we don't want to do. We could do front. Five new letters do front. Which would check for input. Um, wouldn't check for gassy or other such words. It doesn't help with ample versus apple. That's the main problem there. But we could just go with five new letters and hope that at some point we check for an M on one of the words. It doesn't help with SA versus, I mean, I don't even know what another possibility is, so maybe it helps and I don't know it. This one with, the, I mean, all we have is the B and the E. It's just not, it's not enough to go for, to go off, you know? Um, what about, what about month? It at least checks for the M for ample versus apple. Um, still checks for input. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't know enough to even know what I'm trying to find at this point, if that makes sense. Like, other than checking for input and ample versus apple, I just, I don't, I don't know enough about some of these other ones. So I just have to go for new letters and hope that they're ones that help, I guess. 
I'm gonna go with month. Okay, it's not ample. It's apple. Very good. We've got an O here. That's good. Ooh, the N here. Okay, so this could be something like canny, in fact. Um, it can't be candy. Uh, it can't be like mangy, because there's no M. What about rangy? Yeah, rangy works. Essay still works here. So if it's B-O, I don't know what that is. Bocce? Bocce works. Ooh, with a double C. Okay, this one, ooh, this one has an H, which is interesting, because there's no T or S um, or P, so we could do a CH, but the only vowel that we have is the E. So there's got to be another E. So if we had a CH, it would have to be C-H-E-D-E, -E, which doesn't work. Okay, we could also just start with an H. It wouldn't necessarily have to have another um, another consonant with it. We could also do WH, but then again, it's got to be EDE. -E. So, or RH, same problem. Otherwise, um, you know, E, C, H, E, something like that, but then it would have to start with the D. And that doesn't work either. But if it doesn't have, if it doesn't have another, and you could do GH, but again, D, E, G, H, no, that doesn't work. So if it doesn't have another letter with the H, it probably starts with the H, which then makes me think it's got to be H, E. But then what would that be? Hedge, hedge. That's pretty good. Um, it also checks for the G. Oh, oh, look over here. I didn't even look. It's not A-S-S-S-Y. It, it's it's A-S-T-Y. Um, can't be hasty. It can't be pasty. It could be tasty. With another T. Uh, what else could it be? Fasty? That's not a word. I think it almost has to be tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it has to be tasty. That's the only possibility I can think of. Um... I'm going with Tasty. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, uh, well, it did help rule out one. Oh, this is input. This is input. We've got the I, N, and T. It's input. There we go. Okay, good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, this could still be A and G, but I was thinking about checking the G here because I'm thinking hedge. Yep, I'm doing hedge. Yes, which checks for the G. It's not. It's not a G. So, I think this is canny. Like, what else could, uh, no, fancy. Oh, fancy. Could be fancy. Okay, uh, this has a G, this has a G. Oh, okay, and I haven't really even looked at this one because, but, uh, uh it can't be among. <laughs> I'm thinking something A-N-G maybe. But then the O would have to be at the beginning beginning orange oh that's not a word that's not a word orang oh it's short for orangutan okay well there's no oh orang is possible we haven't done an r yet have we surely that's not the answer is it oh wow um i guess it could be could it be no we can't oh i don't know is that really a word? And then, I'm still thinking essay over here. I can't think of anything else, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, good, it's essay. Let's adjust things on the screen a bit here. There we go. Um, okay, well we found the A here. So it's not, it's not A-N-G, okay, it's not A-N-G. So maybe it's, uh, oh, organ, organ, organ which is just an anagram of orang. Uh, organ seems much better. The N is either first or last. And if the N was first, we can't do a vowel after it. So what would be, 
What would be, yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. So the N's got to be last, which then means the G again. If the G is first, unless you do G R. Oh, groan. Oh shoot. Another anagram. And this over here, B O is what I'm thinking. But then we need Bachi is still a possibility, but. Otherwise, if the B is... Oh, booze is possible. Just too many, too many possibilities. Well, if we do canny or fancy, that will check for the C. So that will give us the booze versus bocce. So, so we don't have to worry about that one. We just need to figure out what to do with these two. Grown or organ and canny or fancy. And I don't think either one of them helps the other one. And there's nothing to tell me grown versus organ. There's nothing, there's nothing. We haven't done the R yet. We've only done the D the one time. We haven't tried the O first or third. And this one, we haven't tried a word with two N's, right? We haven't done an F, we haven't done a C. All right, well, since canny was the word that I failed the wordle on, the only one I've ever failed, I'm definitely not gonna lose to the word canny again. I'd rather lose guessing it than lose not guessing it again. So I'm gonna, I mean, it's a 50-50, fancy and canny. So uh, the F doesn't help anywhere else. So I don't feel like I need to guess the F. So I'm gonna go with canny. Yeah, take that canny. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then this one, it's organ versus grown. Um, well, so there's no C over here. There's no C over here. So this is booze. Okay. Very good. And then we've got one word left. It's organ or grown. It's a 50-50. Oh, no. Oh, the O. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Whew. I'm glad I didn't do, I, I'm glad I did the booze. Yeah. Yeah, the O. Okay, so it's grown. Wow, okay. Oh, I didn't even think about the O being what, okay. Yeah, 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 because I was expecting the other one to be bocce, actually. <laughs> All right, well, that was that was a struggle, but I got there. Uh, somehow I struggled through it, I don't know. Let me know um, if instead of month, if you think there was something else I should have done for my one test word. It just barely worked out. And you know, if there was another um, possibility that I didn't consider on one of these, um, I, I did get the 50-50 with canny versus fancy. Other than that, I think, I think I was guessing the, I mean, maybe there was an obscure word that I don't know about, but um, of, of reasonable guesses, I think, I think the rest were kind of forced, but. Wow, all right, well, there you go. Dortal, Cordal, Octortal after not doing them for a while. So let me know how these went for you today and which word you had the hardest time with and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Historians believe that around 49 of the 56 delegates signed the document that day. And one person for sure, Matthew Thornton of New Hampshire. Eight, which is 19 minus 11. Yeah, 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 that'll work. So seven times three means, oh, and this one is a definite E now. No, it's not, no, it's not, Never mind. No, 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 because this E can be pointing at the green E down there. Well, that was really bad, really, really bad. So the only words that use the W or the L are the words that start with the W and the L. So, oh, poo, like Winnie the Pooh.